Look who's joining us today, back at it again with the cute little socks. <laughs> Hello, my little cheese puffs. I hope you're doing super well. I am cosplaying a Squirtle, kind of, today, so there's that. I also drew uh, this monstrosity. Head felt a little plain, so I added a cute little tuft. Could not remember what the tail looked like on a Squirtle. Does it have a tail? I don't know. I couldn't tell you. There we go. Uh, <laughs> That's what we're stuck with today. I think I'm gonna let her explore a little bit around the room today. She's been getting kind of tubby lately, so I feel like she needs some exercise, needs to run around. Noodles, say goodbye to everybody, you little cutie, you little hot Cheeto. Be free. Doesn't look like she's too interested in moving at all can relate every morning of my life. Okay, anyway, <laughs> today we are gonna be opening six of these. Build and battle. We're gonna do three Chilling Rain and three Evolving Skies. If you're unfamiliar with these, these babies are what you open at pre-release events when a new set releases. So the next new set we'll be looking forward to that's not a specialty set will be Fusion Strike. So I'll get into a little bit how you actually use these, how you build a deck from these because you can, so that you actually know what to do with this as a player besides box open, pretty card. Wow. <laughs> So let's get into it and have some fun. Let's do it. So before we get into opening any cards, I have a new play mat. I am so excited for. Oh, ah, oh, look how beautiful. Oh my goodness. This is by far the highest quality play mat I have ever owned in my life. And it is super cute. These stitched edges are amazing. I love it because it sort of weights down the edges of a playmat so it stays in place. It like grips it to the table. The playmat itself, it's smooth, it's grippy. It doesn't really make any sense how it is both at the same time, but it's perfect. I don't understand. The colors are so vibrant. I love this playmat so much. And I'm sure you're like, boo, where'd you get this playmat? Well, my friend has their own custom play mats that they make and they are called Peko mats. They have this one up for pre-order right now because they all sold out already. And I was like, wait, I haven't even shared it in a video yet. So like, what if all these people want this play mat and then they're not able to get it? So they're up for pre-order now. I usually order from Pokemon Center and they have very nice play mats as well. Uh, but it's so hard to find them with the stitched edging and such beautiful, vibrant designs too. I'm so happy with it. So we are gonna be opening on this baby today. Let's see what Noodles thinks about this playmat since she is still in the same... T oh, she moved! Let's see if Nudies approves of this beautiful playmat. <laughs> Stop! Alright, so these are build and battles. You open them, you build a deck, you battle with the deck. Uh, usually you open these at pre-release events. This is the first look you get at a new set, uh, which is really exciting. Most of the time, so they come in like a little sleeve that you just poop out of there and then you open the box here. Bada bing, bada boo. Oh man, it's always so anticlimactic. It's supposed to be, it's supposed to be the promo. Ooh, this promo is actually one I was really hoping to get because this is a heavily used card and the artwork is just sick. So this is what you get in a pre-release deck. You get the promo on top and there's usually like three or four promos. You have trainer cards and Pokemon inside of this. There's an energy in there, a special energy as well. And then you got Diglets, Doug Trios. So this is like the minimum you would need, the trainer cards and the line of Pokemon. That's why it comes with the evolution line. Uh, and then the store that you're playing in the pre-release app provides you the energy. So this is actually what you build a deck with, but you also get to add whatever you pull out of these packs. So these actually come with four packs inside as well. This is why pre-releases are so great because everyone's on an even playing field with 
the types of decks they get to build. They're very limiting. But a total newbie could pull an amazing card that hits super heavy, let's say, is only like two energy, and it's just gonna wipe the field, and you might win the pre-release event, even though you're a completely new player. So that's why it's cool. It's extremely luck-based. It also is a little bit of skill, but mostly it is luck on what you actually get to put in your deck to make it work. So not only are you looking to pull the beautiful cards for your collections, but hopefully you'll pull some good cards that you can toss into your pre-release deck and play with that to win the pre-release event, which is really cool. So let's get into this. Eyeball energy, path to the peak, but usually people are just happy to get any uh, V, V max. Traditionally in pre-release events, I get absolutely nothing. Um, <laughs> so maybe that's how this will go. Reverse hollow hat rim, hat rim, hat rim, hat rim, hat rim. Okay, and a net non-holographic. I mean, it looks sweet. Now you might pull an ultra rare, but it might not actually help you in your deck. Let's say you build a VMAX, but you don't have the V to actually be able to evolve into the VMAX. That's obviously not gonna help you. Also, there's not a ton of like search out cards that you get in pre-release events most of the time. Uh, usually it's just like, you know, supporters that go through your deck, sort of like a research, professor's research or something. Um, so sometimes even if you get the V and the V max, if you're super lucky, I've seen it happen. Uh, it's still kind of hard to get those cards, draw them out and be able to play them. So reverse hollow quillfish and oh, non-holographic rapid strike Malamar. So both these rares are stage ones. Meaning, if we don't have the basic version, uh, usually multiple for consistency in a deck, then you're not really going to play with those, unfortunately. So that's kind of a bummer. Uh, Pre-release events go extremely slow. The format is totally different from regular Pokemon uh, duels, <laughs> I guess you could say. They're very slow. They're very beginner friendly. They're super fun. Reverse hollow kill a ladybug and a Gallade non holographic. This is how Boo's pre release events usually go. Uh, <laughs> I will say there's usually, um, so if you get this promo that comes with the line, like the Sobble Drizzle line, you can have a different promo that comes with a different line, evolution line of Pokemon, or different supporting Pokemon. So sometimes one of those is really good in a pre-release and has better moves than the other promo and supporting evolution line. So I usually get the worst one. Um, <laughs> and then I pull nothing out of my packs as well. It's great. Reverse Hollow Old Cemetery and Surviper non-holographic. Yep, this is about on pace. This is the best card we pulled here today. <laughs> I pull nothing. I get the worst deck to build with, and then I just get like dunked on by a seven-year-old. So, but you know what makes it fun? Seeing how many new people get into Pokemon. So many people go there for the first time. It's actually what I highly recommend is if you're a beginner, you've never played IRL before, that is the best place to start. Uh, here we go, Chrysalia. Also a great promo to get for your psychic decks. So let's see what this one comes with. Fog Crystal. So this one, comes with a Ralts, Curlia, Gardevoir line. So you have Psychic deck on your hands. You know what the worst pre-releases are to play? Oh, and also has the Doug Trio line. The worst pre-releases to play in are the ones where you have weakness advantages slash disadvantages. Those are by far the worst because if you are forced to play with a grass deck because the only evolution line you got are grass Pokemon and then someone has the evolution line of fire Pokemon, the grass Pokemon are just gonna get torched. They're gonna get flamed. Uh, they're gonna get roasted. So that's kind of unfortunate. Luckily, that's not in this case. I mean, we have water and psychic, so you're not really dealing with weakness there, which is nice, but definitely keep that in mind. Uh, that's something you gotta think about at pre-releases is weakness balancing. All right, let's see if this kit actually pulls us something pretty spicy. 
Um, but yeah, these are great little player kits. Um, if you don't want to play in a store, it's nice to just pick them up and hold your own little pre-release at home with your friends or with your family. That's always fun too. Reverse Hollow Dynatree Hill and a Volcarona non-holographic. So we got another reverse stadium. If I had never seen Chilling Rain before, this would be my first experience opening it. So that's why you usually want to pull like a really cool spicy card because you just, you want to see the artwork. You want to see the first look of these spicy cards. But unfortunately for Boo, I just get a <laughs> reverse holo, Obama snow, and oh snap, a Lipard V kitty. So let's say you pull this Lipard V in a pre release. We have Shadow Ripper for 110. You may put this Pokemon and all attached cards into your hand. Uh, and it's for three energy, one dark requirement, and two colorless. So you only need one dark energy to actually be able to make this function outside of the two other whatever color energy you're going to have. So if you're running the water deck, you would have water energy, but then you toss in a couple of dark as well to be able to utilize this Lipard V. So this is actually an okay card, I would say, for a pre-release event as one of your attackers. You're only hitting for 110, which does not one-shot the Inteleon or the Cresselia per se. So even though it's not one-shotting the Inteleon or the Cresselia, you do get to keep it up and active, continuously hit the 110, 110, hopefully take some knocks of your own, and then you're 190 HP. So nothing in a pre-release event, It's unless there's weakness or something, it's pretty unlikely that someone's going to be able to one-shot you. So let's say they get you almost to being knocked out, like you're knocked out next time they hit you. You could just Shadow Ripper for the 110 and then decide to put it back into your hand. So that would actually be super cool because you would get so much damage output onto your opponent's side of the field, but then as soon as they're about to hit you out for two prize cards, you're like, nope, not the day. <laughs> <laughs> so I actually like this card a lot for a pre-release event. I think that would be pretty nice to pull. And you're able to actually make it work because if it were three dark energy, it'd be a lot more difficult because you'd have to search out and find those dark energy. But because it's only one, you could do dark energy and water in a water and then you're good. And then you could still play with your other Pokemon and have this being one of your mains. So that would actually be a pretty sweet card to pull. Now, when you think about that card in terms of just normal standard format, it's a little bit of a different story because then you're thinking, oh wow, 190 HP, that's extremely weak. Three energy, that's a very high cost. 110 damage output, that's very low for the three energy cost. So in, in that regard, you're like, oh man, this is not a good card really to play in my standard deck, but pre-release format's totally different. It allows you to use Pokemon that maybe you're not using outside of a pre-release uh, format. So it's it's nice. It highlights some new Pokemon. You get to bond with the Pokemon cards, get some memories with them. For frow. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cute. Reverse Hollow Rockruff and a Scolipi non-holographic. So yeah, just another reason why pre-release events are awesome. I vividly remember several pre-releases I've been to simply because of the Pokemon I played in those pre-releases and I got some like clutch wins with them. They were OP and it's just so much fun. It's so fun. Eyeball energy, Flaffy, especially if it's your first time ever playing Pokemon, you'll have a blast. So hopefully you all get to find some events around you um, for the next set release for Fusion Strike. I think it's gonna be awesome. Reverse Holo Raboot and... <gasps> yes! yes, oh my gosh, Taco's gonna be so mad at me. <laughs> Taco's gonna be so mad. We just finally built this deck in person. It was so difficult to get cards because you're ordering on TCG player from like all different stores. It takes forever for them to get here. They send you the wrong cards. It's like a whole process. Plus these are pretty expensive to buy for decks as well. So we wanted to pull them and then we, we actually bit the bullet, ended up buying three, but then we were trying to play a deck list that played four. So we needed one more. And then Taco finally was like, whatever, I'm just ordering it. <laughs> And now I just pulled it. Oh my gosh, this card is gorgeous. Wow, Calyrex 
VMAX. I don't even think I need to explain this one and how good it is. I think I actually have explained this one before because I'm pretty sure we've pulled it. But yeah, just look at this. Gorgeous card. Absolutely gorgeous. All right, we got another Cresselia. I'm not upset about that one, um, really. I like that Cresselia. I think it's a beautiful design. So beautiful. I've seen people pull back to back, just like full art, alt art, full art. And you're always like, wow, I'm so happy for you. <laughs> <laughs> Every time. It's always the little kids, too. And they're like, wow, look at this awesome car. Let me just shove it in my pocket. <laughs> you're like, <"Ugh>, no. <laughs> Hatena, reverse hollow drizzile. Oh, too bad this is not the one anybody plays. Sadness. And... Oh, yes, baby! Galarian Zapdos V. I have explained this beauty before to you all, uh, but this is a good card here. It has been slotted into many decks, many a decks. Now that one at a pre-release event though would be pretty terrible actually, because your opponent's not gonna have any V Pokemon in play. Like it is very unlikely that, <laughs> that people pull Vs and then you go against the person that has even one V. So your attack is gonna cost quite a bit. So that probably isn't the best one for a pre-release event, but it's great in a uh, regular format. Play. Snover. Galarian Slowpoke doing his yoga. So cute. Crab Brawler. Snow Runt. Weedle. Seabolt. Reverse Hollow. And... And ooh, a holographic Weavile. It's kind of weird seeing Weavile being water for some reason. Like, I'm just so used to Weavile being dark, so... Seeing a water weavile is still strange to me. It's just like the water version of Volcanion. You're like, wait, what? What sense does this make? Aren't you like a volcano? <laughs> I don't get it. I don't get the logic behind it. If somebody knows, explain to me in the comments, please. But uh, that one weirds me out as well. Cast form, Quillfish, Reverse Hollow Bound Suite, and ooh! This one actually wouldn't be too bad for a pre-release either because it's only one energy cost. Uh, it is a fighting, so, well, if you're playing the Doug Trio line, you're probably already playing fighting energy anyway, but this would actually be great to throw in. Hopefully you start with it, and then you just start flinging. You start flinging early on and getting that 20 damage here, 20 damage there, 20 damage here. Then you start knocking out their Pokemon. Boom, boom, boom. I'm gonna fling, fling a poop at ya. All right, this is our last Chilling Rain pack. Uh, we're opening 24 packs in total here today. 24 packs, so it's like almost, well, not really almost a booster box. Definitely less than a booster box. We'll see how many pulls we get if it adds up to booster box level pulls. Reverse Hollow Grookey. <laughs> and an, oh, this one's so pretty, Ampharos. All right, we put away the Chilling Rain besides these pulls over here. And we're jumping into Evolving Skies. So let's see what promo we get. Ooh, Galarian Articuno. There we go. Ooh, also, this Tuesday is our WDE live stream. I'm so excited for it. It's a very special one. We have super special guests attending. I'm going to have a co-caster with me. Uh, I'm really excited for it. But I also have a big announcement on that stream as well that I'm super excited for too. So yes, be there or be square. Reverse hollow her dear and holographic salamance. Ooh, breathing fire? Is that what's happening? Thanks to its fervent wishes, the cells in its body finally mutated and at last it has its heart's desire. Wings. Yeah, why is that the creepiest description? <laughs> so the salamander has wings and breathes fire now. Quite, quite the little Sally. That's cool. Dark energy, treasure energy, digging gloves, aka crab claws, uh, palpitoad, nickets, bergmite, rog and roller, flabebe, swablu, reverse hollow. I will never say this name because I always jack it up. And. Oh my goodness! Taco's gonna try to steal this from me. 
to put it in his deck. No, Taco. <laughs> <laughs> You're not playing this in a deck. No, Taco insulted this too. Taco was like, I don't even like that one versus the V. And I like I like the V a lot, but this one was beautiful. What do you mean? It's Rayquaza in the rainforest. This card was like the main inspiration for one of our September uh, Patreon stickers. Jordan made this beautiful design, the shiny Rayquaza. Oh, it looks amazing. But it stemmed from me just being like, wow, Rayquaza is sweet. From looking at this card and being like, I want it. And I want it in the shiny version. <laughs> that is amazing. You just look at this card and you're like, the strength, the power. Rayquaza. <laughs> I love this. Oh my gosh. I almost made this my goal card. Oh, oh, it's like life is just memeing me right now. Boo, we're going to take the, the card you almost made your goal card and give that to you because we'll never actually give you your goal card. It's not happening. <laughs> like, I almost curse myself. I should make my goal card something like, oh, um, flip baby. <laughs> or something. Wow, I am so hyped right now. I was like shaking. I was like, mom, spaghetti. <laughs> that is such an amazing card. Oh, a little penguin. Full face card. Hypno, Chinchu, Chinchow, Pumpkaboo, Carvana, Gossip Flower, Gigalith, Reverse Hollow. That is a Reverse Hollow Rare for us. And, oh my <laughs> Why does it look like this? Oh my God. Appleton, my little apple cobbler. Oh, oh, what's the difference between an apple cobbler and an apple pie? Is that the same thing? All right, last pack in this beautiful pre-release kit, and then we have two more. Then we are done with these pre-release kits. 24 packs, 24. Feebas, Hippopotas, Lillipop, so cute. Reverse Hollow Lilligant. And, ooh, that's a reversal rare. Very nice. And, oh, <laughs> double strip combo, baby. Yo, that's what's up. I feel like this has happened a lot with me uh, for some reason in Evolving Skies. Like, I always get the reverse and then the regular rare. Let's go. Let's see what we get. Oh, yo, this is awesome. Galarian Zapdos. I was hoping we would get something different from the Articuno. And we did, we got the Galarian Zapdos, which is very nice. Interesting artwork. Here we go, we have a Duraludon pack. <gasps> Duraludon has yet to fail me. So, let's see if Duraludon stays loyal to us. Will Duraludon finally pull us? Nothing, I don't know. We shall see. Ooh. <gasps> Ooh. Swoobat. Lombre. There's no way every Duraludon pack we open can be good, right? Like, there's no way. There's no way. Bag on. Reverse Hollow Eevee. Ah! Oh! We broke the streak. No. Our love is lost. <laughs> nah, Duraludon's still the homie. And you know what? Schmeagol is a good card, okay? No, nah, it's not. It's actually not. <laughs> It's not, but hey, I'm gonna make it work. I have tried so hard on this Schmeagol deck that I'm currently still working on because it is very difficult to make it work. So I'll get back to you all when I have a complete list, I swear. Reverse Elemental Batch and a Milotic non-holographic with Dugard. That was our first reverse trainer, which is interesting. I would, I would uh, love some more. That'd be cool if I could get some more. Skip Loom, Teddy Ursa, Hoppip, Hitmonchan, punching, punching it up, Fletchling, Tentacool, Reverse Hollow Feebas, that's pretty cute, and ooh, French Toast as well. This is our last pack uh, from this Build a Metal kit, so and we have pulled Fist Bump Energy, here we go. We have pulled. Uh, Really nothing, no no hollows, right? Yeah, no hollows. Um, normal hollows, we pulled reverses, but no regular hollows or above, so that's kind of wild. Ooh, there's another reverse hollow rare. As a reverse hollow rare Zygarde dragon. I like this actually. And a Lilligant non-holographic. So out of that pre-release kit, 
we pulled no hollows and above, just reverse holo rares and that reverse holo elemental badge. But let's see, Flaffy, yes! Yes! Flaffy, I totally forgot this one was actually a promo. I don't know how I forgot you, Flaffy. What am I doing? Fireball, Shellgon, Eskew. Did I say that curtain? I said Shellgon, right? I don't know why that sounded so wrong for a second. Pikachu, C Dot, <gasps> Reverse Hello Gordy, that's cool. And no! Lantern, Ursa Ring, Crustle. Emolga, Slackoth, I love that card so much. Gossip Flower, Love Disc, Fletchling, Hippopotamus, and oh, <laughs> snap! And a full art Gordy. Well, that's it. That's it. Evolving Skies takes it for this little uh, build and battle battle, I guess. Gordy, look at this, baby. Look at the top seven cards of your deck, reveal any number of energy cards you find in there and put them into your hand. Shuffle the other cards back into your deck. You know, there is one, one deck that I could see this being played in and that's Schmeagol, actually. <laughs> I actually haven't tried that yet. A Gordy version of Schmeagol? My goal as a content creator is to get you all as comfortable and happy with trying out the Pokemon trading card game, playing Pokemon. Um, and if you don't like it, that's totally cool. You don't have to play Pokemon either, but that is my main goal is getting more people into playing because this game is awesome. So if I can help some people get into it, get comfortable with it, I would love to help out with that. Reverse holo rare, Marshadow, and a non-holographic Drampa the Grandpa as well ending that there. So these are our pulls out of 24 packs. Now a booster box is 36 packs. So this is less than a booster box. Uh, I'm very happy with this. This is amazing. I could not be happier <laughs> pulling an alt art. Final thoughts, this was a solid opening and I'm adding Gordy to my Schmeagol deck. All right, everybody, thank you so much for following your fellow unshelled Squirtle through this video. Uh, I appreciate it. I am so excited for Tuesday night, 6 p.m. Central, a very special live stream, playing some live Pokemon. The unions are out. Maybe one of our players will be playing a V union deck. I'm excited. We have special guests. I have a special announcement. Big things happening Tuesday night, this Tuesday night, the 28th. I'm excited. Thank you so much to my patrons. I have a surprise, a spooky surprise for you all as well for our October set coming soon. Look out for that. And I will catch you all in the next video or on Tuesday. <laughs>